Hey guys, how you doing? In this video today, I'm going to show you how to back up and restore your uh, Kodi database. This is specifically for people who know how to run Kodi correctly. Um, it's for people who are running MySQL with Kodi, uh, which if you don't know how to do, I have a videos um, video set on how to set that up from start to finish. Uh, it's a little bit long, but I think there's good info in there and I... You know, I try to explain stuff to people so you understand it instead of just going, do this, do this, and you don't know why you're doing stuff. Well, let's start from the beginning here. So MySQL Workbench, if you're running MySQL for Kodi, make sure you have this installed. Um, again, you can go back and watch my other videos. I show how to do all this and get all this set up the exact way I have it. <clears throat> um, if we go to data export, which is what we're gonna do in a, in a minute here, um, there's dump structure and data and dump data only. You wanna do dump structure and data. The reason for that is because, and I've tested this um, both ways. Uh, in another video I showed that if a movie is having a really hard time scanning the movie poster in, like all the info scans incorrectly, like all this and whatnot, and you play with it, and the poster just will not scan in. Um, you can add it manually, and I have done that out of 6,500 movies. There's a handful where I've manually added the poster. I've downloaded it from IMDb, put it in a folder, and I've made a location for where those are. So if I hit Browse here... Um, they're in this posters folder. And these are movies that, that would just not scan in the movie poster. After, you know, messing with them for a few minutes, I just download the poster and tell it where it is manually. If you do data only when you export here, um, when you try to rescan everything in and restore everything, it won't restore the posters. If Basically, if you do just data only, it won't restore the posters that you've manually told Cody where they are by doing this browsing and selecting from the posters. Like these wouldn't get brought back and you have to re-tell Cody where the posters are for those movies again. If you do, I'm gonna close that. If you do um, data structure and data, then those will get exported and they will be imported and you don't have to mess with it. So for that reason, I do structure and data. Basically, we open up Workbench and we're gonna export our stuff now. So we go data export, select object selection. These two are the databases for music and videos. This is videos is uh, movies and TV shows. <clears throat> And these get created when you start Kodi for the first time, pointing at the MySQL server. Kodi um, tells MySQL to write these databases. Um, so we're gonna select where we're gonna back this up. And we wanna make sure we have Kodi closed while we do this. I think it's just a good idea. And we're going to put it here. And we're going to check these boxes. These aren't checked by default. And this will back up events and triggers and whatever. Um, so let's start the export. And go ahead and overwrite. And this is just a warning saying that um, my Workbench version is much newer than the MySQL server I've chosen to run, which is 5.7. That's fine. Continue anyway. And we have two errors, which is it's fine. It's not a big deal. If you have like a ton of errors, um, maybe check into that. But um, if you just have a couple, it's whatever. Um, now we're going to go to the schemas. So this is the database that is currently in use by Cody. We're going to drop these, which is basically deleting it. 
I'm refresh, nothing's there. If we open up Cody, <clears throat> now it's contacting the MySQL server for the first time because there's no database, we just deleted it. And if we go to movies, there's nothing in here. TV shows, there's nothing in here. Um, anyway, we'll close that. So now, if we go to schemas and refresh, Cody has remade these, but there's no data in them. Um, and we hit import and we select the folder that we just made or where we backed up our stuff basically um, here it is so we select that we make sure these two are checked um, we want to dump the structure and data and start import. As you can see, as this is importing, this is actually really easy to do. It's not complicated and it's quick. It's even quicker than the default Cody way if you're not running a MySQL and you can move it to different ones. It's just, it's so much easier so that finished now if we open Cody and because we did structure and data it takes a little bit to scan in everything here or load everything basically and now everything's scanned in, it's that easy. Now one note here I need to mention, this is actually important, I maybe should have said this earlier, but in, uh, in the previous video I put up a, like a how to make Cody run faster with my SQL type of video. <clears throat> I talk about this, the NODB buffer cool. I've changed mine to four gigabytes and I show you how to do that in the previous video, which you should watch before attempting this. Because if you leave this default at 8 megabytes, this will fill up to 100%, and um, Cody won't open. Once this is at 100%, it stops using the buffer pool, and it reads all the data and info it's trying to grab. It reads it off the actual hard drive in the computer or the disk, and it's insanely slow, and when you try to open Cody, it won't get this far. It'll just sit here and it'll hang and it'll freeze forever and it won't work. So before you go back up everything and whatnot um, and import, make sure that you increase this NODB buffer pool. And if you want to know how to do that, watch my earlier video. But other than that, guys, um, it it is that easy. Um, so keep a backup. Uh, you want to back it up kind of frequently. You know, as you add new content, make a backup. If you're adding new content daily to your Cody, you might want to back it up once a day, you know, or once a week or something. Because what you import will obviously only be what you've exported. So the more you're taking backups and the more you're exporting your data, um, the better, the more up, up to date it'll be. So anyway, that's um, that's about all I got. Yeah, it looks like now the in progress movies and stuff have loaded. It's you know, it takes a little bit of time to load everything for Cody to read everything, grab everything from the MySQL um, server. But other than that, um, as you can see, everything's good. Posters populate right away, there's no re adding them in because the database is already there, the information of where the files are, are already there. So it's super quick, super easy. And if you have a lot of movies like this, like I have C500, <clears throat> um, it sucks if something happens and you need to re-scrape everything in because as you know, if you have a decent amount of stuff, you're gonna have certain files that don't scrape in correctly without manual, not a ton of them, but enough of them where if you have 6500 movies or even a thousand movies you have to go in or refresh them or manually do them or they don't scan in or posters don't scan in 
or whatever. So to not have to re-scrape everything and just be able to import it like I just showed you, um, it, it's so much quicker, so much easier, so much better. And if you're not running a MySQL, um, run a MySQL, guys. It's just, it's better. Everything's centralized. You can, you can add a new Kodi box to your house if you want and just put in the advanced config file, which again is in previous videos, and point it at the SQL and everything just populates. But anyway, it is that easy to back up and restore your stuff. I hope you got something out of this. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, whatever. Anyway, guys, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.